Let's talk about how to walk around with one of these, with one of these, or one of these, or yeah. Hey, this is Scott Wendkiewicz. In this video, I want to talk about camera straps and connectors, ways to connect your camera to your body so it's safe, um, ways that either can help your back, hurt your back, things like that. Uh, I have a bad back. I've had a bad back for years. I am actually in physical therapy working on that uh, a lot, and it has gotten a lot better. But still, carrying around a camera uh, for a long period of time can actually hurt your your back. It can hurt your shoulders and things like that. So I want to walk through a bunch of different things that uh, that that can help with that. And uh, to do this, before I get into it, I wanted to share uh, previous videos. You saw that I had a mic like this, which is my podcasting mic. And I'm currently in the process of, of testing out my wireless lav mic, which I usually use with my iPhone and with the Mevo and things like that. Uh, but I'm testing it, connect to what's called a Jam Lab from M Audio. This is a device I've had for a long time. It's USB one, and it actually connects to uh, my my laptop, and then has a um, guitar input and a headphone output. So basically, allows me to use any regular um, standard, like you know, little plug microphone with my laptop. And because not all will actually, uh, not the MacBook Pro won't detect a lav mic as a mic, it still thinks that it should use the built-in audio. So um, if my audio is different, that's why. This is a test. If I like it, I'm going to stick with it. If I don't, I might go back to just the Blue Yeti, uh, which I use for podcasting. Now, um, the, 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 the advantage of this, it gives me, there's no mic over here. <laughs> so it gives me a little bit more free range. Now, um, let's get into the straps. So typically, when I'm walking around, my the most common thing I do which is over here, is, whoa, it's caught. I have a lot of different things. All right, so the most common thing is my custom strap. This is a knit strap. It's used, it's power cord, extremely, extremely durable, strong, flexible. Um, and I have it custom weaved into a Really Right Stuff bracket, which I can then slide right onto my L, my L bracket and clamp it down. And then I can sling this over my shoulder like so. And I got the mic here, so I'm going to not put it down all the way. But basically, I'd sling it over my shoulder, and now the camera, the camera would be hanging there uh, upside down from over my shoulder and can spin. It, uh, it needs to be greased a little bit. It actually is using a, a custom SLR, um, the swiveler, the C-loop, I think is what they call it, uh, on there. So it's actually custom weaved into that. Now, um, since I did this, Really Rice that actually came out with a bracket, same size actually has clips. So I could have went right to the clamp, but when I did this, it, that didn't exist. Um, so that is one. I also have a wrist strap, which is actually the same pattern um, that uh, knit strap made for me. And it just clips right on to my camera using the regular, uh, on the Nikons, it's this sort of like triangle clips so I can just have a wrist strap like this, and it's out of the way. This is my favorite for street photography because it's minimal. I can quickly get rid of it if I need to, and it'll still hang from things. So if I needed to, I could still hang it, um, and it's still safe because it's around my wrist. On the, in the same vein, I also have this. Um, this is actually from Holdfast Gear, and I love this. I love the design. I, um, it won't just go into the, into the triangles. You actually need another loop. Um, but I love how soft it is. It's beautiful leather, high quality. Again, it's similar wrist strap style. The only reason why I'm not using it is because um, I don't really trust this. Uh, there's no locking mechanism. Since this was made, uh, Holdfast Gear has switched to a new system, a new locking, a new locking system that is a lot stronger and more secure. So, um, right, that's the only reason why I'm not using that. But I, I love this product. Um, so I keep it around. Next is a standard neck strap, right? So this is a standard neck strap. I just had a custom weave for me, but this is a, a this was my go-to for a long time 
And this is from uh, Think Tank Photo. It's got a little bit of grippiness on one side and it's just soft texture on the, you know, the fabric on the other. Standard goes in right into the camera. Now obviously your camera comes with a strap, so if you're happy with the branded strap, it's fine. Um, but I'd like the more compact, softer uh, from the Think Tank photo. And I rotate a lot. So um, next is a system. Now these are all different, different types. This is a system also from Holdfast Gear that if I'm doing events, sometimes I'm using this. It really depends on how my back's feeling that day. Um, it's kind of twisted up right now. Let me get this all in place. Okay, so basically you would uh, wear this kind of like a gun holster, like so. When it's not all twisted up, I have to get it untwisted, but, and then these would hang. And then you have these little loops that you would twist on the bottom of your camera. Now I can, can I can do this right here. Okay, so you get these little loops. It's kind of hard to do when I'm tangled like this, but anyway, and then it would hang sort of like how this, this strap makes it my camera hang upside down. And the beautiful thing about this is you can have two, first of all, you can have two cameras, which is great for events, um, but also it's taking the weight off uh, your both of your shoulders by letting it sort of hang low and this X harness is just making it a smoother uh, feel on you. Um, it also looks pretty pretty badass because you kind of look like you're holding, you got a gun holster even though it's your cameras. Uh, it's made by Holdfast Gear and also has these clamps, these clips you can hold or loops that you can hold other things. Um, extremely strong leather, beautiful, the highest possible quality leather that's around. I strongly recommend if you are um, into leather straps to check out Holdfast Gear. Now, um, next I want to talk about is a belt system. Now, um, most of the time when I'm doing any important event that I need um, my whole upper body free, and I'm going to be doing a lot, I will use this. So um, I was in New Orleans, I did an event in New Orleans, and this is what I use because it allowed me to do a few things. Now this is from Think, Think Tank Photo, very padded, uh, it's their pro belt. It allows me to have different pockets that can slide around if I want, or they could be stuck in place depending if, uh, on your needs. And uh, you can have ones for cameras and flashes and lenses and all those different things. And then I also put the spider holsters there. Now, Spider Holster has been, is probably the first to do a um, um, this style system for holding a camera at your belt um, without a strap. And they were the first one to do it. Now a lot of others have done I'm gonna show you another one after this, but basically the way this works is you put a clamp and a this pin on your camera, on the bottom of your camera. And then it would basically slide in and just sit there upside down just like um, your, it would with the whole fast gear strap and with my knit strap, um, your camera would be sitting upside down. And you can lock this in place so that uh, if the thing, the, the pin in your camera cannot come out. Right now it is locked in place. You can unlock it and take it out. This is made from metal, extremely strong. Um, I do have two so that I can have two different cameras with me. And I put them both up front so I have quick access up front to the cameras. Um, so these are extremely, extremely strong. I recommend if you're doing something like this where you have multiple bodies to use a belt system, not just put this on your actual belt to use a belt system. And speaking of which, <laughs> the next one is this clamp uh, from Peak Design. This is called the Peak Capture. Pretty sure this was the first Kickstarter project that Peak Design did. Since then they've done many others. But basically this would clip onto your belt and then you'd lock it in place. And if you only have one camera to a small camera, then yes, you can put this on your belt itself. But I actually recommend if you're having multiple cameras or a really heavy camera to not use your belt, but instead use a belt system like the Think Tank Photo. It's a lot stronger than your regular belt for holding up your pants. Now the advantage of this is um, this can actually clip onto a backpack strap or any strap really, or a belt. And then again, sort of what I did with the knits uh, strap is I have the Peak Design clip here which would go into the heat into capture. And then I have another really right stuff cl clamp attached to it so I can quickly just go like that. And then it locks in place automatically. Then the only way to unlock it is to push down this red button and let it go. That's it. It's that simple of a system. And so what, I'm, what I basically do 
is I put this on here. As I put it on here, on my L bracket, and then this is on my pants, on my belt, like so, and then I just clip it on, and now my camera is just there on my hip, not causing any pain on my back. It's a beautiful system um, that uh, if you're doing street photography and you want to take a break or whatever, that's a pretty good thing, especially if you're using a wrist strap, because then I can do this, have a wrist strap, and then when I'm clipping it onto the, onto the uh, Peak Design Capture, I can just take the wrist strap off and, and then just let the, um, the camera, you know, hang off my back. And it's as simple as that. Um, so when you put this on, you have, of course have to lock it. Right now it's not locked because it's not on anything. But um, that's really it. It's just a beautiful design. Um, so those are all the different strap systems that I have. There are so many out there. Um, I definitely recommend if you have a bad back and you need something to, uh, you, all you have is a regular camera strap, instead of going over your neck, go uh, sort of like a sling, go across, because that will take some of the pressure off of your, um, off of your back. And you can then rotate to the other side when, you know, your neck gets a little stiff or something. Um, but so many options out there. Uh, there's even more than what I showed you. I just, just, that's just what I've, uh, accumulated over the years. Um, and I have still yet to find the perfect system, but right now my go-to is the knit strap, um, and the knit wrist strap. So, and I will link to, I'm going to try to link to all of this in the video description. Thanks for watching.